Can you 3D print a Yeezy slide? In today's video, we're gonna find out. What's up everybody, I'm Seth Fowler and the Adidas Yeezy slide is one of my favorite and most worn shoes that I've ever owned. And that got me thinking, can I 3D print my own wearable version of this shoe? Well, I mean, somebody can, we have the technology, but can you do it at home with a consumer grade 3D printer? Now, while at first glance, it seems like a pretty easy shoe to model in 3D, when you start to look closer at this shoe, you start to realize that the surfacing of this shoe is a lot more complex than you would have initially thought. And so rather than trying to create brand new 3D for this shoe, I decided to take the easy way out because I'm lazy. And doing that was even easier than I expected because all I had to do was type in Yeezy Slide 3D on Google and a 3D printable scan of a Yeezy Slide just popped up immediately. And the craziest part was I could buy this 3D printable file for just $4.91, which in theory should allow me to print my own wearable version of the Adidas Yeezy Slide. Now hold up for a minute. I'm not sure of all of the legalities of doing something like this. I don't know if selling a 3D scan of a pair of shoes is legal. Now the scan itself is actually of a much smaller pair of shoes, a pair that presumably you're supposed to put on your keychain. Chain. I don't think the original intent of the person who uploaded this file was to have people download it, scale it up, and then create wearable 3D printed slides. But even still, because we are 3D printing a 3D scan of a product that's already out there in the market, I'm sure it is a legal gray area. I absolutely do not recommend doing this. In fact, just don't do this. I just don't know if this is something that you should be doing. I've seen tons of people online 3D printing Yeezy foam runners and even Yeezy 350s, so I know people have done it, but it's something that I do not recommend doing. The only reason I'm doing this is purely for experimental purposes. I think it'd be fun to actually try and 3D print a wearable pair of slides that's from a 3D scan. Either way, just don't do it. So after I downloaded the shoe, I brought it into my slicing program, which essentially is a program that allows you to make 3D objects 3D printable. I scaled up the shoe from a paperweight size to a size that's actually wearable, at least as big as I could get it on the Prusa print bed. I selected the filament that we were gonna use, which in this case is Flex, which as you could probably tell from the name is a flexible filament. I then lowered the infill, which essentially takes material out of the inside of the print, which in theory should make the shoe a little bit softer underfoot because there's less material in the inside of the footbed. And then I hit print. Getting there, only about 20 hours and 45 minutes left. But it's looking really, really solid. That's crazy. And hopefully with the 10% uh, infill, it'll feel pretty soft underfoot. I don't know if it's gonna be as soft as the foam, but hopefully it feels decent. The next day. Unfortunately, I ran out of black filament midway through the print, which means I have to change filament. And I'm actually leaving, otherwise I'd let this finish. So uh, I'm switching it out. Unfortunately, this Yeezy slide is not gonna be a full black Yeezy slide, which is frustrating, but we're going with the dark gray. It's the closest thing I had. So annoyingly, the new filament is a much lighter shade than the black. <laughs> Up here, it kind of looks like a darker gray, but it is what it is. Honestly, I'm not too mad at it. It kind of looks like a Maybach a little bit. I ordered more black filament, but it's not coming in for like four days. So we just gotta deal with this. And here it is, 53 hours and four minutes. So I gotta be honest, I wasn't totally happy with the way that this print turned out. One, it was a little bit smaller than I would have liked, and two, I just didn't love that dual tone look. It doesn't look anything like a pair of Yeezy slides with that dual tone. It kinda looks like a pair of Walmart knockoff Yeezy slides, which is not what we're going for. So what I decided to do is print two more pairs, one on the Creality CR10 Pro V2 in a really cool glow-in-the-dark Ninja Flex filament, and one on the Prusa. I was able to make it slightly larger and jam it onto the Prusa print bed at a different angle, and this time around, I'm gonna print it in all gray. All right, so I'm trying to slice these Yeezy slides on the Creality Slicer. And the problem that I'm running into is that last time I printed this shoe, there was a lot of like stringiness underneath the, the top of the, I guess the inside of the shoe. And so what I'm gonna do is, or what I'm trying to do is put support material under there. The problem is it increases the build time by like a whole day. So I'm wondering if it's just not worth doing that and maybe I should just bring this to touching build plate and slice it again. So originally it was five days and one hour, four days, one hour. It cuts off a whole day. I don't know. I think that's probably all I can do. I feel like I should put support material under there, but it might not be worth it. I wonder if I drop the infill. The infill is already at 10% though, to be honest. Do you think if I drop it down to 5%, that's crazy? Or is that, uh... even though it adds a whole nother day, I think it might be worth it to add the support because I want the shoe to be wearable and to look good. And I feel like the best way to do that is to have the support. So five days, two, two hours. Let's just save the files. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna go finish watching the game and hopefully this all works out. So far, so good. The size looks a lot better. It looks like it's something that I can actually fit, which is great. Got a little bit of stringiness and the Ravens are winning. So good day. <laughs> So the Creality's print always seems to fail around the hour mark. So we're at 40 minutes. This is the third time I'm trying it. Hopefully it works out this time. Let me grab this little piece of material right there. And I decided to reprint it on the Prusa 
except just all in gray because I feel like that'd be a good looking color. Now it is a little bit smaller than my foot, just like the other one. It is a little bit bigger than the other one, so hopefully it fits a little bit better. In 53 hours and 43 minutes, <laughs> we should see how it worked out. And hopefully this one, this one's gonna take like five days. I could probably print two of these in the amount of time that I could print one of these. So I might actually do that. We'll see. Many hours later. So it's about 12 hours after my last update. You can see that I went with a much lower infill on the uh, Prusa version with the Flex. The Ninja Flex version seems to be printing okay. There was some issues in the beginning. It was just kind of like piling up filament in certain points, which I pulled off. It seems like it's kind of fixed itself, which is good. Happy about that. And both printers are running well. The only thing that I'm doing slightly differently is I'm venting this room with that fan outside, like probably once an hour for like 30 minutes, just because I don't want there to be a buildup of like particles and stuff. Cause I also exercise in this room too. So it's probably better if I, if I keep it vented. And I think when I do exercise, I'm going to open the garage door. What I will say though, is that I have ordered enclosures for both of these, which should help with not only keeping the particles down, and just being a healthier situation in general, but it should keep the heat. 36 hours left on this print, not too bad. Hopefully it'll be softer than the previous print. And then this one, I'm just hoping it's working in general. It's been going for 17 hours. It's a five day print. I just really hope it works because I would love to wear these slides in Ninja Flex because it's so soft. Let's see. So far, so good. This guy though has been going for 45 hours and it's, I mean, not even halfway. So, and I might run out of um, glow in the dark filament. So we'll see. Also, I forgot to mention, this is glow in the dark filament. So this shoe should actually glow in the dark, hopefully. Only one hour and 59 minutes left. We're so close. It just has to finish that little top bit and then we're done. I think this line right here, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think this line right here is from when I bumped the table by accident when I was setting up another table, which is kind of crazy to actually see it. And then also this guy's coming along too, coming along pretty nice, going for 52 hours. Man, everything's coming along well. Pretty happy with this. Kind of surprised nothing failed. I hope I didn't just jinx it. Wow, here it is. A 3D printed Yeezy slide. It only took 54 hours and three minutes. But I mean, hey, it came out great in my opinion. I'm excited to rip it off and see how it looks on feet. Now over the last day, I've realized that I've done something really, really dumb that I just didn't think about when I started these prints, but I printed them both as left shoes. I should have printed one as a right shoe and one as a left shoe, so I could have at least worn them together. But unfortunately I didn't. So we're getting two left shoes, which is dumb. But uh, you know what, at least we have real easy slides that we can wear on the other foot. But yeah, pretty excited about the progress, pretty excited about that infill, that came out nice. And uh, I'm excited to rock these. After 116 hours, we're done. And we didn't even finish off the spool, which is nuts. We were really close. We almost ran out, but we made it. Here it is, the Yeezy slide in this glow-in-the-dark material. You do have a lot of stringiness. I mean, it's nothing that we can't just pull off. It's so soft, too. I can't wait to try this on. This is nuts. Obviously, there's some support material that I need to take out inside the shoe and of course, around the, uh, the outsole of the shoe. And this one should actually be much closer to my size because obviously the one that we printed on the Prusa, this wouldn't have fit on Prusa. So this is all the support material that was inside the shoe. And this is the shoe. That's so nuts. This came out so good. I'm not gonna lie. I was tempted to try these on before I actually filmed a bit of me trying them on, but I decided to not do that. Just go with it. Wait until we actually try them on and get my genuine first real reactions of this shoe. So really stoked on that. I mean, the shoe looks incredible and I can't wait to see it glow, if it glows. <laughs> I don't know if this material actually glows. I haven't tested it yet. Okay, so we have all three 3D printed Yeezy slides. Now this is kind of crazy because each one's different. This first one was kind of like a half and half situation where I started printing it in black. I printed it with a very thick infill. And because of that, it's a very stiff slide. And then half of it is light gray, half of it is dark gray. That was not on purpose. That's because I ran out of filament halfway through. <laughs> it is what it is. I thought it was gonna look better than it did, but this half and half look is not working for me. The second one is the second slide that we printed on the Prusa. This is the light gray slide with the low infill that uh, I haven't tried yet, but I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that it kind of feels like the foam of the real Yeezy slides. And then we've got the final one. This one's made of Ninja Flex. It's actually bigger than my size because I mismeasured the actual size of the shoe. But because this one is made of Ninja Flex, it's super, super soft. I'm actually concerned that it might be too soft. It feels like memory foam, but in a way that I feel like is not gonna be very supportive. <laughs> it's actually softer than the foam. So just to compare and just to show you guys generally what these look like next to a pair of Yeezy slides. We've got the one that I think looks the most like a pair of Yeezy slides, this uh, sort of light gray one. So here's a real Yeezy slide that I'm rocking right now on the right foot. And then you've got the 3D printed one. And uh, I'm just gonna try them all on and then compare them to the Yeezy slides and then see which one is closest. And uh, if we were successful creating a 3D printed Yeezy slide that you can actually wear. So the first one we're gonna do is the half and half one. The one with the very thick infill that's not very, uh, not feeling like it's gonna be very comfortable. It is the smallest of all three of them. So it's not gonna fit great which it doesn't. 
Well, you know what? It's not uncomfortable, but it's also not comfortable. It's very tight around the top of my foot right there. And also, compared to like the actual Yeezy Slide, which is foam and very soft and flexible, it's got pretty much no flex. In addition to not looking great, it's also not that comfy. I think we can call that a fail. Not too great. The second one is the other flex slide made on the Prusa. It's a little bit bigger, so it should fit better. And it doesn't have that much infill in it, so it should feel a little bit softer. I like how the color is almost a match. Like, they're so close, but not exactly. I feel like the black would have been a better match, but I ran out of black. So, let's see how it... Oh. <laughs> oh, man. So, the entire bottom of the shoe just completely collapses because there's not much infill in the bottom. When I put more weight in the front like this, <laughs> it completely collapses. Uh, that's not great. So maybe I need to work out the infill situation. The top feels good though. The top feels like it has just the right amount of flex. Okay, so this is the final shoe. This is the Ninja Flex one, so I'm super excited about this one. It's incredibly soft. It kind of feels like memory foam, which I've said about some other Ninja Flex shoes. I've been waiting for this for five days, <laughs> so hopefully it works. Let's see how it feels on foot compared to the regular Yeezy slides. Oh. Oh, that's too soft. It's completely, completely compressing underneath my feet. That's <laughs> that's not what I expected at all. It feels great, but it looks ridiculous when you're actually wearing it. When you compare the compression of this slide to the regular Yeezy slide, it's just, it's not even close. It does feel good though. Like there's a pocket of air in there that when you stand on it, it just kind of squeezes out. It feels awesome, but uh, at least it's glow in the dark. That's good. I'm happy about that, but this is not, um, shoot, I really thought we'd have one slide that would actually work. I feel like the one that's actually wearable is the one that I threw and said was a failure, which is the first one, which is at least comfortable, but you could actually wear it. Unfortunately, though, this one is too small, so I can't really wear it, but at least we know if we decide to print more Yeezy slides that going with more infill, I guess not as flexible material, and is the closest feeling to the regular Yeezy slides. Obviously, none of these compare to the Yeezy slides. Foam, you can't really beat it. It's an incredible material, and it makes sense why Kanye and Adidas decided to make the Yeezy slides in foam, because it just feels great on foot. But yeah, overall, happy with the results. I mean, not totally happy, because I wish I had a pair of slides that I could actually rock, but uh, I mean, it's interesting to see sort of the progress, the experimentation that happened trying to 3D print Yeezy slides off of a file that I bought for four bucks. I guess back to the studio. And we're back, and we've got all of our 3D printed slides. It's still crazy to me seeing these side by side. Obviously, because we're printing in plastic, it doesn't have the exact same look as a foam Yeezy slide, and it's nowhere near as comfortable. You've also got these sort of like ridges and edges that just happen naturally whenever you 3D print. But overall, from a distance, it looks pretty similar. I am noticing though that the 3D printed slide is a little bit thicker in the footbed area. I'm assuming that's because maybe when I scaled it, it didn't scale correctly, or maybe this isn't a 3D scan, and instead someone actually did go in and build this themselves but I don't think that's the case. But either way, it's not exactly the same as an Adidas Easy Slide, but it's pretty similar. So if I had to pick a winner between these three slides, to be fair, none of them are really wearable. It's much harder to create a wearable 3D printed slide than it seems. Out of these three, the one that I probably would throw on feet first is the first pair that we printed. While it's not very comfortable at all because it's a pretty stiff midfoot area, and while I think this sort of two-tone look is real dumb, also it's definitely too small for my feet. I can barely get my foot in there. It's the only one of these slides that doesn't completely completely collapse when I put my weight on it. I've 3D printed a lot of shoes at this point, like probably 15 plus pairs, but this one is definitely the stiffest out of all of them. With that being said, it's probably one of the most wearable. Purely from a visual point of view, this one is probably the closest to an actual pair of Yeezy slides. The color is consistent, the actual print quality is decent, but again, it's unwearable because it completely collapses whenever you put your weight on this shoe. And then finally, by far my favorite, it's definitely the roughest 3D print. It took five days to print, which is absolutely insane. I mean, even if you wanted to replicate shoes, it would be almost impossible because it takes days and days and days to print. But even with the much worse print quality, the fact that it took five days and also the fact that it completely compresses underneath your foot, rendering it almost unwearable, this shoe still glows in the dark. And I've got to say, I am impressed by how well it glows in the dark. It's crazy. Now sure, my phone camera is making this shoe's glow look brighter than it actually is, but it still is impressive that this shoe does glow in the dark. That's something that not even an actual pair of Yeezy slides can do. But with all of that being said, this was a very fun experience. At the end of the day, can you 3D print Yeezy slides? Yes, you can. Are they wearable? In most cases, probably not. I'm sure you could perfect a wearable slide pretty easily if you created your own design, which is something I recommend doing and not 3D printing someone else's design. But either way, still a very fun process. Let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment section down below, and I'll see you all next time.